going to be doing this ColourPop. I have the whole box right here. I also have some that I bought previously. I bought like two liquid lipsticks previously and I'm just going to be trying them on swatch style for you guys. And I just have to say like my fucking day with makeup today has been unreal. Like I had to turn off my AC for you guys but I am sweating my ass off right now so I apologize if that's visible and also I have been having such an Amy Winehouse fucking eyeliner day today I don't want to talk about it so if my fucking eyeliner looks jank to you I apologize but we're just gonna jump right into these lip swatches because that's why you're here let's begin I'm gonna start off with the lippy sticks now I have several lippy sticks these are more of a very pigmented lip balm so I'm gonna be trying those on they're beautiful and then I will go into ultra matte lipsticks and the satin lipstick that I bought so let's begin I'm gonna be starting off with the color skimpy this is a very nude this is a glossy color So this is skimpy. This is a very sheer nude. I kind of like it. I know a lot of people think this is kind of like a concealery nude, but I like it personally. So I don't know. This is skimpy for you. Look how red my natural lips are. Like I hate it. This is cookie. This is a very brownish nude. It's also very light. So I just turned down the lighting a little bit so you guys can see a little better, but this is Cookie. <laughs> so here we have Aquarius. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to like this color. This is just a really pretty medium nude I don't know with like kind of a gray undertone to it but mm, I don't know Aquarius is probably one of my favorites it's like a really pretty not too washed out nude and one thing I do want to mention about these though is if you've ever smelled or like tasted the Werther's hard caramel like candies these smell so identical to that so if you don't like like sweet smells I don't know how you're gonna feel about these but like I can get past the smell because they're so pretty for five dollars so next we have Tootsie this is a very gray toned nude um, I think a lot of people are gonna like this one too why I can't do anything without cat hair getting in my mouth so apologies These lippy sticks are kind of all looking similar to me because I'm a bitch who likes nudes and reds and I don't really like pink colors on me. So this one, this is Tootsie. I like it. It doesn't look very different to the other ones, but I do like it. Moving into the reds, I have this red called Bitchette. I am excited about this. These are really easy to apply, I have to say. I feel like this one's not coming off correct on camera. I'm kind of not seeing the raspberry undertones on the camera, but it's a very raspberry red. And last but not least for the lippy stick, I have Creature. This one's a very dark uh, burgundy red, and I think I'm going to like this one. Okay, like let's not even talk about the this color right now. Like I love it. Obviously, I should have used a lip liner because the application of this isn't so great. But I really like the color creature. I love these type of colors for the fall. I think they're amazing and I think they just look really good on a lot of people. So I'm feeling this one. I am feeling this one. Mm, fix that. Okay. Also have two lip liners this one is Aquarius love it super smooth obviously it goes with Aquarius very well but it's a nude and these are really good quality like if you can see this um 
really clicks into place so I like that. Reacher because obviously I need a lip liner with that and that one looks like that and that's two swipes you guys like are you serious? They're really pigmented. These were I believe five dollars as well. Alright so moving on I'm gonna be doing Dopey. This color is fucking bomb. I love it. Um, if you guys were to get any of the satins I can't say much but the Dopey is my favorite. The only thing I don't like on it is the wand is a little bit weirder than the Ultra Mattes. It's a little wider or like frayed if that makes any sense. Like it's not as controllable as the mattes. They dry down but like not completely so they do transfer a little bit and they will transfer if you kiss or you eat so but the color and the comfort of these is amazing i only got the color dopey but you guys really should try the satins these go on like fucking butter you guys like oh my god they're so smooth and this will dry down this is the perfect shade for me like i will wear this on the daily i know it it's just so fucking beautiful It does transfer a little bit so just warning you but it really is a great fucking lip color okay and I have four ultra matte lip liquid lipsticks so let's start off this one is the color midi this is supposed to be a very light nude um, I tried it on yesterday the thing I was pissed about when I got this one was it was crusty dude like it had leaked it had been open a little bit like this so it had leaked and like it wasn't clean like when I opened it this is how it looked I don't know if you can see it but like the tube right here is all like covered in liquid lipstick and that's really annoying to me because it was brand new but I'm not really complaining like I'm not really butthurt about that because they were they were six dollars like one is a very light pinky nude um, I think it really only would work on lighter skin tones I mean if you want to be bold and wear like a very light nude pink on a darker skin tone then go for it like but I just think this is would be more flattering if you're really pale because the tanner you are or the darker the skin tone it's gonna be really light so this is midi have this one in my bag sometimes I do like the color I don't think it's very flattering on me because my lips are so small um, but yeah it's like a grayish like a grayish brownish beige color so and all the ultra mattes I just want to mention they dry down darker then they go on so if you see it in the tube and you're like oh that's gonna be really light it's not it'll dry darker they always do see nothing nothing Once you wear these for a few hours they are a little drying um, I really like the wear of the satin ones a little better, but these ones do not come off. So if you're going out for the night, you don't want your fucking lips to budge. They won't. They won't. So it depends on what you really want, but okay. So now we have Beeper. This one is actually a dupe for Dolce K by Kylie Jenner Lip Kit. Um, yeah, this is pretty much an exact dupe. I don't own it, but if you wanted to save some money these are six dollars hers are I think 27 this is beeper I like this color it's very dark on me I will say it's very dark on me Last color I have is Avenue. This one I'm really excited to try because 
It is a dark red, but it's like the perfect red, cool toned red. So, see, this is how they're supposed to come, like not all busted. So, ColourPop, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared to do this without a lip liner. Oh my god. This color, though. I can't with this color. It looks fucking amazing. It's a classic dark red. Like it's a blood red. It's my best way to describe this is a blood red. I would say this is kind of close to unicorn blood. So I pretty much fucking love this color. I just have to learn how to apply it a little better. But holy shit, this is pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching guys.